Yes, this is the second part of my previous vi video as it relates to the veggie slash <laughs> veggie omelet, but it's a uh, veggie omelet and grits, but I do have bacon pieces in there. So uh, it's not quite a veggie omelet, but it has a lot of vegetables in it. It has spinach, green peppers, tomatoes, and um, mushrooms, okay? Then I have my grits. I put a little cheese on it. One would say, girl, you got a lot of cheese on that. Yes, I do. And when I was cooking the, um, the omelet, it was more like a scram, you know, scram, scramble, not scramble, but like a scram slam, meaning it was started off as an omelet and I kind of tossed it because I don't like dry omelet. And I put cheese at the bottom, veggies in the middle, some more cheese at the top, and then I flipped it and then I kind of start, you know, tossing it so it can have this look. Then I have my toast. I have a few pieces of bacon. Uh, I want to come over here and uh, uh, get my coffee. I told you guys I want to uh, tell you what I put in my coffee. Um, I have French vanilla, okay? You can get that from any store, Snooks or any place, all these. But in this instance, I got it from Save a Life, okay? And you put that cream in there. Put your little cream, depends on how sweet you like it, because it is like kind of concentrated. And then I will go over here, okay, to my coffee, baby. I like it black and I like it strong. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And you put that in there. And you pour. And then when it turns out, it turns out caramel. See that? You can't tell me that's not good. That is good. I'm telling you it's good because I've tried it. Okay? All of this is trial. Trial. Meaning, I've tried it out. I've had it before. Now I can tell you about it. And these are the grits that I use. Quaker grits. And I was telling you about those grits. You really have to tend to those grits because, baby, they start popping. And you go, you know, you have to get to put on your gear to be prepared to cook these grits. Okay? So this is just this part two of that video. I've already put it in the microwave. As I mentioned before uh, in my previous videos, if you want grape jelly on your toast, Go and put you some grape jelly on there. Whatever kind of grape jelly you like. You know, you may like jam. Whatever your choice is going to be okay. Make it the way you like it. One would say, girl, that omelet is a little bit different for, than from what I'm used to. And I can understand. Because, you know, mine is, is, is in a way where it's not too dry. You know, sometimes the omelets that people make, they be just too dry. And I like to put mine in the microwave so I can let the cheese melt. Okay? So look at there. Why don't you go ahead and try you some? See that? Yeah, see that? Yeah, see that? You're getting your vegetables. And you're getting all the goodness. See? Mmm. Treat yourself right. See, I can taste the bacon pieces in there. All that good cheese. And see, what I do with this bacon, I get about three slices or four, and I cut them in half. It looked like a whole bunch, like 18 in the skillet. But I'm just telling you, that's, that's the appearance of it. I just cut it in half. Look like you got more than what you really have. And I at least take half of that and break it up in the omelet before I cook it. That way I can have some kind of protein in there you know you know i've been um trying to cut back on pork but certain pork thing certain pork items i like such as bacon i love me some bacon um every now and then i may eat some sausage but um i got to wean myself off that pork but baby it's gonna serve its purpose today with what i'm trying to do and it is in the middle of the day y'all like i told you guys before i love breakfast i can eat breakfast all day you see? And this coffee, let me, why don't you take a sip of that? Mmm. I know how to treat myself. Absolutely. I know how to treat myself. So, I want you guys to take out my previous video, Omelette and Grits. Okay, and this one here is going to be part two, because somehow, I was trying to set it up, and I guess when the screen went down, Everything went down, but I didn't want to lose the video because it's so informative. It tell you detail uh, instructions uh, or information as to how I came about uh, preparing this omelet. 
and I just didn't want to lose that footage. So I do have it, but also watch this one here so you can see the complete, the final results of what I prepared for myself today. Treat yourself right. Love on you. And baby, everything is going to be all right. And uh, I want you guys to, if you see this video, like, you know, this video, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment in the section so I can respond to your comment. And uh, maybe you can have some, um, uh, some better insight on how to prepare a, a different type of omelet. Or I want to know your feedback of what you think about the meal or what I, the do's and don'ts, the pros and cons. And I would love to be able to communicate back with you as it relates to the videos that I have. So like, subscribe, and click the notification button on um, YouTube at Patricia E. Jackson. Thank you for your support and stay blessed. Smooches.